Hey there and welcome back to the Holistic Collective. There are a lot of men who go to great extents with their workouts and diets to lose weight, gain muscle and have beach bods. While some aim at picture perfect bodies, some just want to lose excess weight and some simply want to stay fit. But no matter what the goal is, there are many who still face the issue of losing that unwanted fat from the chest area. They are often referred to as man boobs. So what exactly are man boobs? These are the excess tissue on a man's chest which appear like female breasts. The scientific term for this condition is gynecomastia. There can be several reasons for this. It can be a swollen male breast tissue caused by a hormone imbalance or the male breast tissue swells due to reduced male hormones known as testosterone or increased female hormones known as estrogen. This problem can really hamper a man's confidence too, especially when it comes to wearing certain style of clothes. Guys with man boobs will surely connect with what I'm saying. Just like belly fat and love handles, chest fat can also be stubborn as hell to deal with. But hey, don't worry, we got you. In today's video, we will be telling you three simple steps that can help you lose that chest fat and get rid of those unpleasant man boobs. But before we start, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. So firstly, you need to understand that having chest fat that refuses to go easily may also mean that you have a very high body fat percentage. So your diets and workouts also have to be targeted at reducing your total body fat percentage. Once you reduce your total body fat percentage, it is quite likely that your man boobs will be gone just like the rest of your body fat. Sometimes people who have gynecomastia, which is a medical condition, then it's best to get it checked and treated by a medical professional. This condition can happen due to the growth of male breast tissue too along with fat cells or the granular cells that are responsible for producing milk for infants. This may happen due to an increase in estrogen and a decrease in testosterone. In some people, it can also happen because of a side effect of certain medications. So, the best way to lose this chest fat is to lose fat and build muscle. Now, there may be some people who can say that you can burn fat in one particular area or spot reduction is possible, etc. But please be aware all this is untrue and it applies to losing fat from any part of your body. Well, at least if you believe in losing it naturally. The only way to achieve noticeable and significant fat loss is to consume lesser calories than you burn. So your body stores fat when you eat and burns fat when it runs out of food energy and when you work out. Now the breakdown of fats happen in response to the fasting between meals and also during your sleep over a 24 hour period. The most common reason why people stop losing weight or are unable to lose weight is due to overeating. So when you eat lesser calories than how many you burn, then you are in a caloric deficit. So if you feel your body has lesser calories than it actually needs and when you maintain a caloric deficit for long enough, your body is forced to burn good amount of stored body fat to meet its energy demands. This logic applies even to burning that stubborn chest fat. Besides this, you need to eat enough protein else you will surely have difficulty in losing weight and maintaining in losing fat. The next step is to try resistance training. To build muscle, you just have to do weight training. There are no two ways about it. Some workouts you can try to tone chest muscles and lose fat in that area is the barbell bench press. By far, this has been rated as the best exercise for chest development. It is a more superior chest exercise as compared to the inclined press targeting the upper chest part. Some fitness experts say there was a direct correlation of pectoral size and the bench press performance. Apparently, the bench angles of 44 and 56 degrees resulted in greater activation of the upper pectoralis. The pectoralis muscle is any of the muscles that connect the front walls of the chest with the bones of the upper arm and shoulder. The next exercise which is effective for the chest is the cable crossover. The other exercises that follow are dips and chest raises. Well, that was about how to lose chest fat and man boobs. However, for those of you who may have gynecomastia and have some underlying health conditions such as liver disease, kidney disease, hypogonadism, tumors in the testes or adrenal glands, lung or testicular cancer, thyroid disorder, ulcerative colitis, cystic fibrosis, etc. Hence, we always recommend you do check with your health practitioner if there may be anything unusual you may face with your body or health in general. Hope this video helps you and along with these tips, do remember to eat right, work out, sleep well and never forget to smile.